Hey guys, just working on a project tonight, and that is making an axe handle. Made plenty of other tool handles in my time, but never an axe handle. Got a nice piece of oak here that I just got from behind my shed. Got a couple things I want to mention. Uh, I don't have a table saw or a band saw. That would make my life so much easier. I do have a skill saw and a bunch of hand tools, so I'm going to get started. This piece of oak here is two and a half inches wide. I'm going to cut it down the middle with my skill saw. You can see this edge looks pretty straight. I'm hoping to get two handles out of this. I don't know for sure. I just used a jig on my skill saw to make a nice even cut down the middle. I want to try to get two handles out of this. I only went down about one inch. I don't want the, the blade to bind and to bend. So I'm just going to keep going over the same uh, cut going a little deeper every single time. So I have my two equal halves. Really nice oak. I think what I'm going to do now is take my sander and just sand off all this weathered wood here. I think it'll be a lot quicker than the planer. And before I get too far into this project, I forgot to mention that this is for a double bit axe. I haven't picked it up yet. You know, I'm going to be looking around at flea markets this summer. I want to find one. I think it'd be good for my winter camp. So I've decided I want a 36 inch long handle. And that's 36 inches from the bottom of the bit to the bottom of the handle. So I have to leave a little bit extra to hang the head. Just going to start uh, drawing out my plans with the pencil. There is my plan all sketched out. I just looked online, typed in double bit axe handle under images. As I mentioned before, I don't have a band saw, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is cut down with my hand saw down to the line and just make a bunch of score marks and see if I can chip it away with my hatchet out afterwards. You can see here, I scored down the line on both sides. I actually have a hewing hatchet where I could hew away all this excess material, but I'm a little worried I might get too carried away. So I'm going to try using a chisel and pop all these out. So here we are, day number two, working on this axe handle. All the rough work is done. Now comes all the shaping, which takes the longest. I want this handle to be as symmetrical as possible, so it feels good in the hand. There's no, it's not wavy. So what I did is I took a piece of wire and wrapped it around another axe handle that I like. Got the shape of it. I'm going to transfer it onto this uh, quarter inch thick plate steel. I'm going to cut this out 
And then I have a like a guideline for shaping. So there's my little guide to uh, help me out in shaping this handle to make it symmetrical. I used uh, another axe handle for that and all my grinding discs are wore down to a little nub so I couldn't make this as deep as I wanted to but eventually I'll make one a lot deeper on this side it'll be a permanent guide and I'm just trying it out on this handle and you can see I got a ways to go so for all the details work I'm going to use hand tools spoke shave draw knife a little palm planer Barrier's rasp, caliper, my guide. I have my axe handle turned sideways. I'm just going to take my time, try to make it as symmetrical as possible. You can see this handle's coming along pretty good. Been mainly using my palm planer, my farrier's rasp, and my draw knife. I have my draw knife actually upside down. It helps uh, just take finer shavings. And a couple times, you know, you catch the grain and it wants to go too deep. You got to be really careful. You can't put on wood that you take off. So I'm just taking my time, only using the draw knife in this area where I have to. I'm quite happy with this handle so far. I got my 40 grit sanding disc on there. I'm going to do a bit of work with that. I'm liking this. Got the palm swell on the bottom. Got it all taken down. Feels good in the hand. It's not perfect. You know, there's some microscopic waves going on, but this is my first attempt. So I want this handle to be 36 inches long. So I'm going to mark out 36 inches roughly to the bottom of where the bit would be. And just rough it out. You know, I can't get uh, too particular because I don't know what kind of head I'm going to buy. So I think this handle is almost complete. I've done as much as I can do for now. I'm not too sure how big the axe head is going to be so I can't uh, get too carried away. I put a shoulder on here but depending on the size of the axe head you know the shoulder might even get moved further down it's hard to say. I put on a homemade stain on here just to test it out. It's made from 
vinegar and steel wool. If you're interested, look it up on YouTube. And I also have some ebony stain here by Minwax. I know some of you guys wouldn't stain this at all, but I like the stain. And I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to wipe most of it off so all the wood grain shows through. So I'm just brushing on some linseed oil. I really like that finish on it. I think that's about it for this one. I'm going to continue to put linseed oil on let it dry, wipe off any excess. I really like that finish on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.